Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Parkside Crosscut Miter Saw model PKS 1500B3 Power consumption is 1500 Watt, no load rotation speed is 5000 RPM Till adjustment is from 0 to 45 degrees Miter adjustment minus 45 degrees to plus 45 degrees Cutting length is max 120 mm Cutting high is max 60 mm and 35 mm at 45 degrees. So blade we've got 2010 mm, 48 teeth pre-mounted. Cutting line preview is laser, we've got included in a laser line. Some accessories included inside, we're gonna find out together. For precisely cutting wood and plastic. Butter is included, 2 meters of cable, 3 years warranty. Some other specs. Laser for improved cutting accuracy, tilt table saw head, continuous miter or with a mixed angles, clamp and side supports for securing your workspace, compact with a practical carry handle, easy to attach dust collection bag, can also be connected to an external dust extraction unit, vacuum cleaner, and suitable for permanent mount on a workbench. You can see some pictures. And I think it's time to open it to see what we have inside to assemble it and test it to see how it works. Now, first look, we've got the manual included inside. We're gonna find out the batteries for the laser and the sun carbon for the motor. Uh, this is not a brassless motor, it's a brasset. That's for this carbon. Allen keys for assembly, lock and unlock mechanism, then you can take it with you, very easy, carry on wherever you want with this handle, unlock it and it will unfold. Now let's assemble it, we've got two work piece support, they will go here. All the way in, one screw they've got. Same, and from the other side, next we'll get this support stand, it will go at the back. There is two screws here. And it stands just like that. Now, the unit We've got the lock switch, it's not working, you need to pull in that little and then it will work. Pull and it will work. There is a motor, here you can change these brasses, unscrew one here and one from the other side and you can remove it and change with a new one that is included in the box. Four holes at the unit, you can permanently screw it at your workspace and work more easy. Next we've got this plumbing device, you can insert it here or and from the other side here, depends how you want to work. Let's put it for now here and we can screw it, adjust it and screw it from here, adjust it from here. I'm going to show you. Later we are going to cut a wood. Here we've got the rotated table, just rotated, you can see the clicks, zero, it goes from zero to 45 at the left, and the same at the right. 
Now from the back, you can adjust the angle, unscrew, it goes to 45. You need to take this out, this clamp, it will go to the way. Okay. It goes from 0 to 45. And you can start screw it at the degrees that you want. You've got this red pointed, it will show you the right position and screw it again. Now, if you want to change your blade with a new one, you've got the lock mechanism here. You need to push it. Now you've got the Allen key. You can unscrew from here by pushing this red. It will lock your blade and then easy you can unscrew them, take it out and replace it with a new one. And of course we've got and the bag. Very easy to install. Press those two. It will go inside here. I will use a vacuum. Now, from this side we've got and the laser. Two 3A batteries. Take this out. And install the batteries inside here. Laser class 2. 1 milliwatt. Yep, it is on. And here we've, we've got the moving short blade guard. As we are moving down, it moves together to help you to cut. And then it will cover again the blade. And I can say the laser is very precise. It is in the center. That's good. Of course, I'm going to test it to see how much precise it is. And here we get and the locking screw. When you're going to find out the right degrees, you can screw it. And that's how it will not move the table. Yep, you cannot move it. Now I will start by cutting this piece of wood. Later it is in the correct position. As we can see, we've got a very clear cut. Nice. Let's try this one. I will do it faster. And very easy. Now let's try this. Again, very clean cut, nice. Now let's try to cut it on an angle. I will cut it on 25 degrees. Again, we've got a very good and clean cut. The laser, I can say, it is very good alignment on the right position. Start. Let's cut up angle. This wood. Again, we can see very smooth, it can cut, no problem.
I would like to see how it can cut in this plastic PVC. Oh yeah, nice, very precise and very good job. Let's see, and this small water tube. Yep. Nice. And of course, we can rotate on the base. Let's put it on 30 degrees. Tighten this screw. Now we can see we've got a clean cut. Very smooth. Well guys, that was all about this cross cut miner saw. So you have seen the test, add the wood, add the plastic. I think it's doing a great job, very precise and very smooth cut. And with a laser it helps very good. It is alignment at the center. Well, if you need something like that to buy, to have it to your workspace, it costs about 70 euros and you know where you can find it. I'm sure it will do the job at the right moment when you need to cut a wood plastic to do some DIY project to use it as you want. I will use it more and more and we will see how it goes and if something not going well I will leave down below to the description my thoughts and please leave down below to the comments your thoughts. Do you have a tool like that? How it goes? Is working well? And with all that guys this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like or like my video your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it, and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.